Hi, everyone. Susan Gerbeck here from Psychics Explained. I am going to shoot a very short video to showcase some things for you to, I hope that you will give your attention to. Um, I got things to do today out in the garage, and I am just going to do this briefly. So last night, uh, one of a podcast was released. And I've known this is going to happen for a long time, for almost a year, but it's now out and I want to showcase that podcast. And I also want to bring it to your attention that there are two other podcasts that precede it that I have done and Mark Edward have done with this group and it's Ono, Ross and Carrie. So there are three videos I'm putting, I'm going to show them to you now. And they're all standalone. I assume, well, if you want to start with the first one, you can start with the first one. There's no, um, you know, reason not to. Does it have the date on here? Well, let me see if I can remember. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so this is the first one. Oh, no, Ross and Carrie read. Susan and Mark, Psychic Blues Edition. Now, Psych, um, Ono, Ross, and Carrie is a podcast done by Carrie Poppy and Ross Blotcher. And Ross Blotcher is an extremely good friend of mine. We have been involved in the world of paranormal investigation for years. He is a member of the Independent Investigations Group, which is now called Center for Inquiries Investigation Group or something like that. I don't know. He's down in L.A., and Mark used to live in L.A., so I used to go down there often to the meetings, and I was a part of the team for a long time. I learned a lot, made a lot of friends, and I'm no longer affiliated with them, but um, that is for completely different reasons. Ross is still a very prominent member of them. He is a wonderful human being. When you listen to him on the podcast, he is exactly that person in real life. He's been to my house several times. Uh, we've met up and hung out many times. He is um, just a, a phenomenal human being. He has, um, he and Carrie did this podcast, which you'll see is they have examined everything. They've joined the Mormons. They've joined the Scientologists. They've done all kinds of paranormal things and they have a huge following. So you may have already heard of Ono, Ross and Carrie. I don't know, but I think you'll really find these people interesting and their podcast interesting. And it was fun, too, because when Ross, Ross and I have similar personalities, and I guess we have the same kind of style of doing things, getting things done. We're both doers. And <laughs> Ross was, uh, uh, in fact, he he's the one who did the video for our, when we did years ago, we went to see Sylvia Brown's, we did a protest of Sylvia Brown in Vegas. Well, we stood outside and he put together the video. He's brilliant. <laughs> He, he's so good at this kind of stuff but back in the old days when we first uh, were both in the independent investigations group we uh, i was known as ross of the north and that's pretty funny because i live in much farther away than la in california so here's the first one we went to ross's apartment and and with his lovely family there and we went and recorded this and this one was about the things we were doing mark and i i believe it's all about operation bumblebee no i'm sorry not bumblebee um pizza roll which is the one with uh thomas john so we did that and then we went and did this one this one is Ross and Carrie, oh no, Ross and Carrie, but it's just Ross. He came to my house and he recorded this at, um, in my living room with Mark and I. And this was all about Operation Onion Ring. And this one, I really think you should enjoy because he's just really insightful. Ross is very insightful. He's very good at this kind of thing, um, understanding. And he picks up some of the things that other people didn't normally pick up on. And I, I find that brilliant. So this is a really great primer to understanding Operation Onion Ring, which was the sting with the children with uh, Thomas John. Um, this one also is unique because at the very end, and you really want to listen to the whole thing, I gave him some audio from Operation 
onion ring that really hasn't been released. And so um, if you're interested in that, I have not released Operation Onion Ring, the videos and audios I have. All I have, I've kept it all under wraps for, for potential things that are going to happen in the future. But I did give them some of the audio and you can listen to it there. The other thing that is really awesome about this episode of um, Operation Onion Ring is that he has a coincidence that happens to him that completely blew my mind out of the blue. It's amazing. And he talks about that at the very end. And it was phenomenal. So listen to the whole episode. And um, you might even hear one of my cats in there. <laughs> okay, so the one that came out last night, and I'm recording this on the 19th of February, 2024. So this came out last night. I knew this was going to come out because he um, and I talked about it back whenever they were about to to go and see Thomas John at the um what is it called the conference uh, it's it's down in LA it's a um gosh what is it called uh I'm drawing a blank on it but conscious life expo that's what it's called so they I knew they were going to go see Thomas John down there and see I can keep a secret <laughs> so I knew about this for about a year and because Ono, Ross, and Carrie spend a lot of time on their shows, it they only put them out every month. And they had a lot of content from the from the expo. So I knew Thomas John was way down the list if they even got to him. But they finally did. And this is just incredible. So you might want to take a look at this. Um, it came out last night. It is them seeing Thomas John at a year ago. And what their impression is of him and includes some of his readings. And I don't want to spoil it for you, but I, I mean, what <laughs> my thoughts are, yeah, it's what we've known ex, uh, for a very long time. Um, It's kind of interesting. It's, it's really, it's okay. I don't want to give anything away. So I'm not going to say anything more about that, but I do have one more thing since I'm on the subject of, of people who've done other things on Thomas John. I want to share one more thing with you. Um, let me grab the link really quick here. Let me do a song and dance while I'm doing that. Dun, da, da, dun, da, da, dun, 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 So I think this is really good to, to also, since you're, if you're on a kick of watching some of the things people have taken down of Thomas John, there are two really good ones. And... This one is not Ono, oh Ross, and Carrie. Oh, this is Dr. Grande. This is Dr. Grande. So this is Dr. Grande. And I froze it on a place where he's not, not a very pleasant looking. There he is. That's much better. Okay. So this is, um, he, <laughs> we had asked Dr. Grande if he would do a case study of Thomas John. Somebody asked him and he said, okay. And he went and did it. And... <laughs> It's hilarious. He didn't do a ton of research. And I don't think I'm named by name in this. It's about 13 minutes long. It is freaking hilarious. It's got 83,000 views. Um, Dr. Grande, if you haven't followed him before, if if you if you subscribe to his channel, oh my gosh, you guys, you will not be able to get away from it because there's so many good, good um, episodes. So <laughs> it's really funny. So a Manhattan medium, which Thomas John hasn't used in a very long time, talking to the dead or searching Facebook. And <laughs> oh my gosh, I got stuff to do today, but I think I'm going to have to play that again because that was so funny. Okay. 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 I'm not quite done. This is another one. This is another one. Okay. If you're still wanting to get more from the, can you hear it? If you still want to learn a little bit more about other people who've done things on Thomas John since we brought him to people's attention here. And this is another great one. This is Holy Kool-Aid. This is a friend of mine. Um, this is back in the day when my background looked very different. I took out these wooden um, doors and put it and changed it with a curtain, which is much easier to deal with. Um, very different look. Look at my pretty flowers. Aren't they gorgeous? So this is Holy Kool-Aid. This is four years old. And it was the first 
kind of like documentary that Thomas Westmore Thomas West Westmoreland that's oh my gosh ah! did on anybody he had done a lot of takedowns of religious kind of things that's was his his thing faith healers and he does a lot of psychic stuff but it wasn't his sole focus so this one's already got half a million views 569,000 some of them are mine over and over it's really great so this is um um uh, it's just hilarious it, it it gives you operation pizza roll and here's mark living in um la this is his power i think he does this is mark in la i'm wearing my black glasses anyway so it sums up operation pizza roll and I don't know. It's it's really great. It's one of the first things that we did. It was, it was great. I'll put these links in the um, description to this video. And of course, let's let's follow up with the very last thing. Let's see if this opens up. Somebody tell me it wasn't opening. I'm going to have to change this. Nope, here it is. This is the archive version of the New York Times. So this came out in 2000, and, no, 2019. And this took forever to get done. And this was a the main expose that really started everything off, which was the New York Times Magazine, which was massive to have something in the New York Times Magazine. This was excruciating um, the the amount of research that the publisher Jack, the reporter Jack Hitt had to do. And this took a year, at least, if not more, to get published. And all his editors and everybody loved it, but there was all these conditions that they had to they had to do. And then when it came down to the time it was going to get published, they, you know, they have to talk to me about, they wouldn't let me read the article. I don't know what's in the article, but they had to go back and ask me questions to double check things. It's quite odd to go through a fact checker. And I've done that since then. I've done that in other articles like with Elle Magazine and Wired and other, other articles that have been written about the psychics that we work on or the Wikipedia projects that I, I deal with. But this is an archive link. So if you do not have a subscription to the New York Times, you can open it up with the link that I'm going to give you. It's in the description of this video. So anyway, that's all Thomas John related things that are outside of my... Siri wants to talk to me. Um, these are all outside of my publishing, of what I've published. These are all people who've done work about Thomas Don and the things we've done outside of my my little world. So it's nice to see that when I and my team do these investigations and we try to get the information out there, that it is hitting, it's disseminating around the world in other places. I mean, because there's other articles, but I, I mean, I said this would be a short video. So anyway, check it out. Um, I will come back to do a lot more videos. I haven't been doing them regularly because it has been very rainy here. And I have been spending my time when it's not raining outside doing a lot of work in the garden and so on, trying to get ready for spring. My tulips are already blooming. Would you believe it? And it's February. And I'm trying to get ready for that so that when it's really raining, I come in and I can get more work done. Problem is, is, by the time I come in, I'm exhausted. And I've also been doing a lot of work on Wikipedia lately. So I will get back to it. There's, I will, I have plenty of videos to do for you guys. I, I, I appreciate all of the support I get from you guys. I love the comments. Please keep sharing the videos. Please continue to, sub to subscribe and uh, uh, comment and like the videos because it helps get the, the videos out further. And I really appreciate the community we are we are gathering together. We are, um, there's nothing going on. I mean, I'm going to continue, not a problem. It's just, like I said, I want to try to focus on getting some stuff done here. It's just me mainly doing a lot of this stuff. So um, take care, everybody. Keep the pressure on. Um, it's, it's important to learn. In the Facebook group, let's see, I keep saying I'm going to finish. In some of the Facebook groups of Thomas John's, um, anti-Thomas John things, there's still people who are coming in saying, oh my gosh, I've just gotten taken for a whole bunch of money 
from Thomas Dunn. What do I do? I've just been, you know, and it's still happening. I don't understand why people are so uh, ready to, they, they see the seatbelt psychic show and they don't do even a slight Google search for a person's name to see if this person has been debunked or if they're real. They just immediately are so motivated and so desperate to get a reading from somebody that appears to be real because of these TV shows, you know, going for the money, um, who think it's harmless, which is just sick, um, that they're pushing these people further, but people are so desperate that they are just going and throwing money at them to get the answer, to get the comfort they think they're going to get instead of doing their due diligence. I mean, we live in a world of scams, people. Google somebody before you throw money at them. Just a quick look. Go to Wikipedia. My gosh, all the information on Thomas John is already been out there for years. And a lot of these other psychics. Take a look and think about it. So for you guys out there who are following this channel, you're learning so much and you're giving back to me all sorts of information and inspiration and I really appreciate it, but please disseminate this to your friends and family and your people in your community so they understand that that all is not as it seems. And there's always somebody out there willing to take care, take advantage of somebody who's in grief, believe it or not. Somebody out there who's always looking for their handout, that they think that they that rules don't apply to them and that we should just um roll over for them because. We're too embarrassed when we're scammed to talk about it. So anyway, let me get off my hobby horse. I really have a lot to do today. Take care, everybody. See you soon. I promise.